So this recent GEMS article, the tool, uh, talking about the PEEP and the tool for any EMS provider, is a very interesting tool that we are starting to use more and more and more, and there's a lot of benefit to that. And that's what I wanna talk about today, is using this PEEP valve on a BVM when we're actually mechanically ventilating our patients. So let's talk about why this can be a true benefit for our respiratory patients that are mechanically ventilating, and our patients that are actually in respiratory arrest that we're mechanically ventilating as well, and how it can benefit them. So PEEP is used for patients that are needing mechanical ventilation or respiratory patients that are quite fatigued. And it's actually a very beneficial tool and we're seeing some really positive things using a PEEP valve on a BVM when we're trying to assist ventilations or mechanically ventilated a patient that's in respiratory arrest. But instead of me just talking about how awesome it is, I'm gonna show you why it's actually a benefit to our particular patients. So first off, we should actually talk about what PEEP actually is. And PEEP particularly is going to to affect the alveoli themselves in a few different ways in particular. So we actually have PEEP itself, positive end expiratory pressure, within our lungs right now as we're breathing. And we call that physiological PEEP. And physiological PEEP is basically right around three to five centimeters of water is, is how it's measured. And basically what's that saying is that it is three to five centimeters of water above the atmospheric pressure, above atmospheric pressure, which means that we're we're trying to keep some air inside the lungs at the time of expiration so that way we can keep those alveoli open. That's the idea of having a physiological peep in order to keep them open. Now this is typically where we'll start with a, a, a respiratory distress patient or a respiratory arrest patient is at this physiological PEEP level, setting it to five centimeters of water and increasing it and titrating it as the patient needs, as long as there's no contraindications involved. And we'll talk about those in a sec. But what's it actually doing by introducing PEEP here and maybe just keeping that physiological PEEP? Because in a respiratory distress patient, they typically are going to lose some of that PEEP and not able to keep that alveoli open as much as they need in order to get good respirations going and good oxygenation. So as far as this goes, what it's gonna do is it's actually going to keep these alveoli from collapsing. So like I said, in a respiratory distress patient, they tend to lose their physiological PEEP, which, which actually increases the chance of these alveoli collapsing. Okay, and so that's what PEEP is gonna do is it's gonna prevent this from happening without the patient needing to work for it and actually try and keep their physiological PEEP. This PEEP valve is going to allow for them to actually you know, keep that PEEP open without working too hard, decreasing that work of breathing for that particular patient. The next thing it's gonna do is going to actually keep the alveoli from opening and closing. Same kind of physiological response when we have that respiratory distress patient and they can't keep that physiological peep, they tend to have their alveoli kind of op open and close as opposed to just keeping open because they have physiological peep. And that peep valve is going to allow for us to keep those alve alveoli open in order to prevent them from just opening and closing during inspiration and expiration because of the lack of physiological peep. That's a big deal and it actually prevents, we believe it prevents, the risks of pneumonias down the line when it comes to ventilator related pneumonia. So that's a big deal when it comes to a PEEP valve keeping those, uh, those alveoli from opening and closing on a consistent basis because of the physiological PEEP that's lacking there. And it also may in actually help recruit already collapsed alveoli, meaning in a respiratory distress patient or a patient that's actually in respiratory failure, we might find that these alveoli will collapse and introducing a PEEP valve, particularly on a BVM in order to introduce PEEP during respirations, we can start to recruit some more of these alveoli that are actually collapsed, that are actually closed off to oxygenation and improve our overall oxygenation and surface area that's used within those lungs and improve the patient's oxygenation and ventilation status by using a PEEP valve. Now there are some contraindications when it comes to 
the the peep valve as well and when it comes to peep very much like CPAP it's increasing the overall air pressures within our lungs which ultimately is going to increase our intrathoracic pressures and actually decrease the pressures of our or our preload on our heart so as we increase the pressures of our lungs increase these pressures and increase the intrathoracic pressure we're ultimately going to put pressure on that right ventricle and as well on the left ventricle as well which means it's going to decrease our preload in a a basically and due to the blood return on these vessels this inferior and superior vena cavas they're going to be compressed from that intrathoracic pressure which means that we're going to decrease our preload actually and blood return back to the right ventricle that could be a problem particularly in a patient that's already volume depleted which could lead to hypotension so that is a contraindication with PEEP just like we saw with CPAP as well is that if we use this in a hypotensive patient or a at-risk volume depleted patient we could see drastic changes in their blood pressure due to the compression and pressure on these superior and inferior vena cava so that is a concern that we may need to watch out for with patients that are in restaurant distress and we're considering using a peep valve. Now the bottom line is, is that the peep valve is improving alveolar recruitment. It's improving the airway pressures, which is allowing for that alveolar recruitment, meaning that we're going to have less collapse of the alveoli. We may even be able to improve some of these alveoli that have already collapsed, we may be able to actually improve their ventilatory status and actually re-recruit them, get them going again. We're also going to see a decrease in fluid retention. So when a patient has pulmonary edema, increasing and actually increasing the PEEP and introducing that PEEP valve may decrease the amount of fluid in the alveoli, which means that we're going to have more surface area for oxygenation. And then finally, it's going to decrease the patient's work of breathing. So we're actually going to find that our patients are going to feel a lot more comfortable being mechanically ventilated with an increased PEEP in order to maintain alveolar recruitment because that way this body is no longer stressed about oxygenation and ventilation when we introduce something like physiological at least physiological PEEP and so that is my story about PEEP and how I believe that it should be used a lot more often than it is at this particular point because there's just so many benefits to a very few risks that we need to watch out for and it can really benefit our patients in the vet and their ventilatory status. So there you have it. Now PEEP should be used with on every ambulance, truly. And it should be used for not just ALS providers. It's very easy to use and the risks are low for patients that are, that are being ventilated by BLS units as well. Truly, there's not a whole lot of training that should be involved in actually recruiting it and at least introducing physiological PEEP by BLS providers. So I do believe that that should be something that we should see with BLS providers as well. Now this is a tool I believe is going to continue to show us that it needs be on the main stage with any type of mechanically ventilated patient or patient that needs uh, ventilation assistance. So hopefully you're excited about that coming into the spotlight and continue to really dominate in this ventilation patient kind of realm. Uh, make sure you check out that GEMS article and really read and understand a lot of the, some of those details of PEEP and what it's really benefiting for these patients. I think you'll find that very interesting. See you next time.